So another thing that happened though is he was on this interview and he uh, said something that made a lot of people excited in the um, you know more traditional community of uh, which is he likes the tr traditional Latin mass. Okay, and, so we'll and I don't want to get too far into this because then you get into controversy, but. Latin mass affects me deeply. Oh, can you pause? Deeply. Can I pause this? Yes. Do I press the space bar? Or you do? Oh, yes. First of all, the fact that he said, I don't want to get too far mm -hmm. into controversy shows that he's got his finger on the pulse as to the conversation going on mm -hmm. within the church today, right? Yeah. It's not, not like he just entered oblivious. So that that's a good sign. That's the impression that this whole interview gives us. He talks about like being excited to receive communion the first time before he had and things like oh. that. Like he, it, this, Beautiful. you know, it's not fake. It's okay. not like a, a front. But yeah, How come? because it feels like they're not selling me a car. Hmm. And when I go to <laughs> some mass with the guitars and stuff, yeah. and I'm from, you know, Santa Inez, right? So that's where I was catechized. And there's a lot of guitar playing and there's a lot of like what feels like um, like they're trying to sell me on an idea. Yeah. Whereas what I feel when I went to Oakland and went to like um, and, and by the way, there's a very incredible version of that as well that's super activating and very emotional that I've experienced hmm. up there with Father Bobby. There's He's also talking about the nervous order? Father Peter. Is that what he meant? Yeah, he's talking about nervous order. Something and just to, before this, he's talking about, uh, Bishop Barron was asking him about like what it's like to be an actor, and he starts talking about how like he tries to be like activating to activate people. So mm -hmm. whenever he says activating, it's like, and then, because how they get talking about the masses, he says, I feel like the right of the, or the role of the priest is to kind of activate. Yeah. You know, the worship activate the... Just, the, I want to say something about Bishop Barron here. Like, um, I know that he gets a lot of flack online, um, but the fact that he followed up with him and wanted him to say more about his experience of the Latin Mass, I think is awesome. Yeah. You know, like, again, I think people are overly critical of the good bishop at times. Mm -hmm. um, and, but look, like how many, I imagine this has got like a million views or something by now, has it? It doesn't look, matter. But yeah. Probably. But I mean, the fact that you've got millions of people hearing about his experience of the traditional mass is huge. And that, yeah, that he followed up with him and said, tell me, tell me about it mm -hmm. or how. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. At, you know, Christ the King in Oakland does a Latin mass every day of the week. And it feels like it's, it's not being done to sell me on anything. Mm -hmm. it, and it feels almost like, like I'm being let in on something very special. Mm -hmm. And the quiet, uh, um, the, the, it, it, it activates something in me where it feels like I found something. It's a little mm -hmm. bit like a band. When a band is pushed on you, <laughs> yeah. uh, you it doesn't feel the same way as, as you finding it. When you find it, then you root for it. It feels like this special thing that you found and you protect it and you hold it and it's yours. When somebody's yeah. selling me on something, it, it somehow yeah. takes my, it kills the, the, my, 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 um, aptitude for it and my suspension of disbelief and my yearnings to root for it. I'm, no, I, I, I get it. There's an immediate rebellion in me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and that and that was kind of all he said about that? Oh, yeah. The, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, that's really cool. I, I don't know if there's anyone under the age of uh, 40... That's like no. Let's let's mm -hmm. totally bring back guitars. Let's <laughs> let's let's get the tambourine back, at all. It, I, remi it reminds me of what you say. You said multiple times on the show before, which is that it's it's just the Novus Order was kind of like there's not that much tradition there. There's not. It's like vacuous versus, um, like being let in on the secret is kind of mm -hmm. like this true culture of like beautiful liturgy that we you know you feel robbed of once you. Yeah, and I, I wouldn't want to kind of impugn the Novus Ordo right. per se yeah. of that, but certain <clears throat> um, certain variants of it certainly do mm -hmm. that. But you know what? I, I had to I have to say, like this month has been really great. This past August, um, I got the Magnificat, which has like the morning and evening prayers as well as the Novus Ordo readings for the day. And yeah, my wife and I have just been praying together, just very simply sitting in our chair, drinking our coffee, reading the readings, going to daily mass, like going mm -hmm. going to Franciscan with the praise and worship music. And I thought to myself, like, there's enough here to become a saint, you know, like, um, it doesn't mean that we shouldn't want a beautiful liturgy, mm -hmm. but I think sometimes like, it's like people who would talk constantly about what's the best diet, mm -hmm. but they themselves don't eat properly. Um, we can fall into that trap where it becomes a sport to point out what's lame and hokey and what's reverent and beautiful mm. instead of like really praying and, um, I don't know, that just occurred to me. Like if I'm tempted to think, look at this sort of pallid, 
mass. It's like, well, yeah, but you're also a pallet individual and there's there's mm. enough here um, to, to revitalize you and to make you a saint. So if that doesn't happen, you won't be able to get to heaven and say, well, it was because of the nervous order, you know? Yeah. Uh, and again, that's, that's not an excuse to, to have a sloppy liturgy. Um, but I mean, the fact is there's a lot of people who don't live where there is a mm. Latin mass. And sometimes my fear is when we keep extolling the Latin mass and poo-pooing the Novus Ordo, which I hope I don't do, um, so what, what, what do you want people to do then? Mm -hmm. It's like um, we, we, we have no control over this or very little control, if none. Mm -hmm. And so I think attending your mass wherever you are, if it's your only option, just faithfully and mm -hmm. reverently and trusting that the Lord's going to speak to you through that. But anyway. Yeah, it does remind me, I think it's, his band, uh, what would you call that? Like analogy is interesting. Mm. Um, because to me, I feel like I encounter a lot of like, maybe more in high school, but people who would like listen to a band because it's the cool band to listen to. Yeah. And then you get the sense of like, do you even like this music? Do you actually care about the actual music? And that's like a poor you know, allegory. I, I do like that. It's interesting. This idea that it's not pushed on you, that you're being mm -hmm. led into something. So that's all we have. Actually, what's interesting, yeah. just real quick, that that is reminiscent of what he said earlier about the people he was with on the movie set not pushing anything on him. Mm -hmm. And there is something about that in the Latin mass. It's like, you can be here and you're welcome. Mm -hmm. It's not like, please, please mm -hmm. come. It's not like that. And I think there's something about that that's really attractive. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. Just to clarify, though, that's not the movie set. This is before while he's preparing that he's oh, okay. Thanks. But yeah. yeah. Thanks for the clarify. Mm -hmm. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment below letting us know what you thought about the video.